Today on the Home Winemaking Channel, we're going to show you how to replace the jaws on your floor corker. And then I'm also going to touch on something else that might be causing your corker to cause you trouble, whether it be tearing up corks or just not corking the way that it used to. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video and we'll hopefully cover some of the main things that you might want to do to give your corker a tune-up. With a screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws that hold the cover plate down. Pull the cover plate off to expose the jaws. It's a good idea to mark the four jaws and take a picture of it just so that if you get a little confused later you can always reference your picture. Hold down the little hingy part with your thumb and lower the lever. Now you can pop that up with a screwdriver. And you can slowly raise the lever. Now remove the little screw that holds the number one jaw in. And now you can start removing the jaws. Watch your fingers. The jaw that I marked number three still has a screw on it, so you have to remove that. Now's a good time to clean the whole unit out. I'm just using some star sand and paper towels to get the residue out of it. I decided to use some keg lube to just give a little bit of lubrication for the plastic jaws. And keg lube is plastic safe. Now we can start to put the new jaws in, in the reverse order that we took the old ones out. I applied a little bit of keg lube on the sliding surfaces. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. To get the spring in, I sort of propped it on the edge of the sheet metal and pressed on the brown piece until I could get it to kind of catch and slide in. And then you just kind of have to push it down with your thumbs. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other spring-loaded piece that seats against the black moving assembly. Just make sure that this spring doesn't go flying. It's, it's a really good idea to wear safety glasses whenever you're compressing little springs like this. And we'll test the operation. Of course, make sure to hold down the hingy part with your thumb or else it could kind of shoot up and undo everything you did. Again, I'm putting some more keg lube just to keep everything sliding nice and good. This probably isn't necessary. And we'll replace the lid. Put your two lid screws in. And that's it for replacing the jaws in your floor corker. Now, if you've replaced the jaws in your corker and it's still tearing up corks or leaving big dimples in the cork, the next thing you're gonna wanna look at, or maybe you should even look at this before you, you replace the jaws, is um, if 
the little plunger in the corker is actually hitting right in the center of the little iris or jaws like it should be. Because what I found is that over time, one of these little um, holes where this pin goes through can kind of start to turn from a circle into more of an oval, which can kind of offset this lever to one side or the other, which can cause some problems with your corking. So you could go so far as to um, weld like a washer in here to basically reinforce that area if that happens. Or, I mean, this corker is like 50 or 60 bucks. It's hard to want to put a huge amount of effort into it um, when you can just buy another one if it completely wears out. So in my case, when that started to happen, I basically just um, put the, the lever in a vise and put a little bit of force on it until it just bent it that, you know, about a quarter of an inch to get that thing centered again. And I think we're gonna get a little bit of more life out of this corker. Probably eventually we'll end up um, either replacing it with another of the same little Portuguese floor corker, or there's also the Italian model, which is a lot bigger. It's a little bit less energy to pull that lever. Hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions or other tips on how to tune up your floor corker, make sure to mention in the comments and swing by my website, smartwinemaking.com. And you can even get more exclusive content at my Patreon site, patreon.com slash makewine. Thanks for watching.